have a look at the truck because uh, yeah I popped another uh, injector line this is the Hypaco uh, kind of a aftermarket part whatever but uh, I think I split the line and the reason why I keep popping lines is uh, probably because of the uh, bad injectors it's either the, uh, the injectors or the pump and it's returning too much fuel and since they, they are really really tiny lines well the pressure builds up and it breaks them or whatever or maybe because the uh, aftermarket lines are not as good as the original I don't know but yeah every once in a while uh, one starts to leak and uh, I have to redo it so we'll see uh, what's the problem now if it's the o-ring or if it's the uh, the line but I guess uh, it happens so uh, I really have to ask a friend so we can uh, do this we need to be two to uh, diagnose that and uh, pretty much figuring out how much fuel is uh, is being returned by the pump and each individual injectors and then we uh, will know if it's the pump or the injectors and whatever the problem is is also the reason why I get a uh, P1093 code right here got the line here and at the bottom I'm gonna have to use the yet lamp here which I got for uh, my birthday so uh, from my uncle and that's it's really it's really a bright one good one so uh, yeah it's really nice so as you can see those tubes there uh, they are wet you see right there it's all wet and it's leaking so uh, gotta figure out uh, where it's split this right here is an original fitting so maybe that's the one that's leaking but we have a uh, we have to take that out I don't know if you can see it yeah this one is the only original one on the truck and uh, yeah that could be the problem here but anyway I got to uh, play with that and uh, smell bad for a week yep so uh, there's my problem try to undo it just twisting and uh, pulling and it just sheared off so it's kind of a kind of turned hard I don't know maybe uh, line quality quality is not too good but yeah but now I've got a bigger problem than that and the problem is first getting the light so you can see yeah there you go see that one here gotta disconnect the rest of that line from this fitting without breaking the fitting which is plastic so yeah I still have to uh, go to uh, the Mercedes dealer and try to get to one of these that's on the um, inline six or five cylinder the OM OM 612 engine I think they might fit and they are brass so that would be a good fix it, it would never break again but uh, yeah I guess my issue is mostly the fact that the uh, injectors are putting out too much fuel and uh, that's just causing this issue of a uh, pressure being building up in the line that shouldn't have any pressure to start with so I'm gonna get that one off and uh, try not to break anything <laughs> well the, r the real problem was that uh, that clip over there that uh, hold the thing in while well, uh, when I went to pull the tube off this whole fitting just popped off so the clip wasn't holding it uh, tight enough it's not the tube the tube I probably just broke because uh, it's cold outside and yeah so I gotta tighten up this clip put this guy back in put a new tube because I broke the other one and uh, install the other one that's here yeah, there you go. And plug it back into the rail there, and uh, should be good. Well, I had to change the, the routing of of it all because when I went to put that that one back, uh, this guy here, I think it went from the top and then down and then up here. So I had to do a kind of switch over. Otherwise, I would have uh, come to the hand of the rail going down and yeah there's not much room to go around here so yeah 
I think I'll be fine. All I have to do now is put the clip back in and uh, should be fine for uh, another few months. But yeah, that's kind of a pain. I have to uh, figure out what's wrong with that. Uh, or just try another brand of little fittings. But I'm not going to do that until I know uh, what's wrong with my engine. Which is either the pump is returning too much or the injectors. I'm pretty sure it's the injector because they are original. Uh, the pump, the pump as well, but I mean, 400,000 k. So that's uh, that's all right to fail. So uh, yeah, if it wasn't from the bad uh, exchange rate, I would buy a whole new set, eight brand new injector, put it on there, maybe a pump too. But right now I gotta wait or find something local. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying to hold on as long as I can. In case the uh, exchange rate go up, and then I can buy whatever I need. But yeah, for uh, for now, that leak's gonna be taken care of, and uh, it's gonna stop uh, smelling so bad. But uh, yeah, you have a nice one now. Talk to you later.